Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, ETOS, and by Gentex. Brandon Furman is running all the autonomy and ADAS stuff for Brunswick Boats. And before we get into that, Brandon, you know, I, I know Brunswick from bowling alleys. Well, what's this boat stuff? <laughs> yeah, so Brunswick started as a billiards company back in the 1800s, right? And so, and over its long time, it's had a lot of different companies, a holding company for a while. But more recently, we've sold off many of those other uh, products and gone all in on the recreational marine space. We own Mercury Engines, uh, 18 boat brands, as well as Navico Group, which does a lot of the components and electronics on board the boat. And so, autonomy and yes, boats. Exactly. What, what are you talking about here? So I came from 10 years in automotive doing ADAS and autonomy at TRW and ZF, and uh, came here about three years ago where we wanted to venture into autonomy and marine now. So the boat we have here today has our first ever autonomy system on it. It is a autonomous docking system. Uh, it's a series of six stereo cameras on board, paired with GPS sensors, all into a high-performance computer that's running autonomy software that is making real-time maps of the world around you as you come into spaces, and you can choose where you want your boat to dock, select uh, go, sit back, in the boat will autonomously move into that slip. I, I love what you're saying, because everybody who's ever had a boat, especially one this size, knows that docking it <laughs> is not for the faint of heart, right? You better know what you're doing. Absolutely. You're going to make this easy for anybody. Absolutely. That's, that was the first intent, and this is the first step in what will hopefully be a long roadmap of products, was to go after those things that make boating hard or stressful, um, and get after that to make that easier, maybe bring more people into boating. And uh, that's where they we're hitting first, and we want to continue to grow with these systems and make things easier for folks. So, so what are we looking at here, sensor-wise? It's just cameras? So yeah, we use a camera-based perception system, so a series of six stereo cameras, which means there's two lenses, like your eyes, you can perceive the distance. Uh, that's different from automotive, as you might remember a lot of monocans, we call them, single-lens cameras in the windshield. In automotive, you have the luxury of that staying at a fixed height. You know, the camera, the, your, your car tends to stay very level. And uh, we don't have that boating where you're on the water and you wave six degrees of freedom. So we have to use stereo cameras to be able to perceive the distance around the boat. And you see around 50 meters or so around the boat, all the way around at all times, and build that real world map of you wherever you are. And you can choose to dock or move to different locations uh, using the autonomous system. So uh, what about like big ships or anything, or do they already have something like this? Uh, some of it is starting to come out into the commercial area. That's not an area we play in. At Brunswick, we're in the recreational marine side of things, which is would be for the private owners. Um, uh, we have 18 boat brands. Boston Whaler here is one of them. We have Sea Ray, Harris Pontoons, Lund Fishing Boats. Oh, the lot. famous names. Exactly. We've got some great brands. We have Mercury Engines. And, and John, this is important in Rec Marine. To be able to do autonomy, you need to be able to command the engines, right? And that Brunswick has been really uniquely positioned in that way that we own an engine maker, one with the largest market share often too. And so, you know, being just a startup in autonomy, you wouldn't have the ability to control the engines. And so you'd be stopped short of being able to do fully autonomous features. And uh, that's what's been fun here, is being able to do something in a fully autonomous way. Yeah, no kidding about it. Very, uh, who to thunk it? I mean, uh, and your automotive background is, is perfect for, yeah, it's for getting a lot into of this. fun you know and it's you know and as you mentioned we can use it for auto docking but in demos what I found folks have been equally excited about is if you're already in the dock you can turn the system on and maybe you have a very challenging exit to that dock other boats that are near you you can turn it on and pick a point outside the dock and say go and it'll take you out of the dock too and reach its point and it puts on a digital anchor like a sky hook where it stays in place and waits for you to start driving or give it another command. It's, uh, so is this debuting at CES or is it already out? Uh, we've been talking about it for a bit now. We are now into 2025, which is the year this will now hit the market. So we are into the final phases of validation and expecting to make some announcements this year on commercial launch and you will be able to order a boat this year with it on. So if I'm a boat owner, I'm thinking well, I like this, what's it going to cost me? <laughs> that hasn't been fully disclosed yet. We're in the final phases of getting that dialed in, but we want to make it uh, at a competitive point where it will be affordable to the overall price of the boat, right? We want to encourage that take rate and get people out, out there using this technology. Brandon, thanks so much. This is really cool. I didn't expect to see a boat here at CES. <laughs> no, you're welcome. Great to have you in here and appreciate the chance to chat.